Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. All right, you guys, so I wanted to start out this video with our monthly giveaway. If you are new to this channel, we do free monthly giveaways to show my appreciation for all of your guys' knowledge and support you show on this channel. And this month, we're gonna be doing a fun jewelry jar. This jar has 30 pieces of jewelry in it. It is name brands, vintage pieces, sterling silver, lots of earth stones. It is a very fun jewelry jar and I love doing these with you guys. I love hearing your guys' ideas for giveaways as well. So be sure to check the description below where you can find out how to enter in to win this fabulous jewelry jar. Good luck to everybody and we will switch over to our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. In this week's video, we will be doing our Goodwill Blue Box unboxing, and this box is our second box from Dayton, Ohio. We had a double order box, so this is the second box it came with. Let's go ahead and open this up. First look, we're having a lot of colors today. I love seeing all of these vibrant prints. We've got some pinks and browns going on as well. So we will set this to the side and dig in. If you are interested in a piece, be sure to check the description where you can find links to my Poshmark and my Etsy account. And I'm so excited to be doing another monthly giveaway with you guys. You guys know I love doing those giveaways. Such a fun way to show you guys some appreciation for all of your guys' love and support. All right, let's go ahead and start digging through our first pile. And first we have a stretchy, it looks like costume jeweled piece with these pink jewels. Let's test it with the Presidium. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of staying in that glass range. And I love these pieces for my niece and my little girl. So I will definitely set that aside for them. If you are interested in a piece from the lot box, you can also send me an email. Those will not be posted on my Poshmark or my Etsy account, so you will need to email me. First earring of the day, we will set that in the earring pile. Now, let me grab my magnet. Yeah, this is magnetic, so we'll put it in the lot. No precious metals with that one. This is a nice, almost like shield ring. It's a little bit wider. I definitely like the gold hammer tones on that one. I would think it's probably a size six or seven. I don't have my little ring sizer, but beautiful little ring. Next, we have a jeweled earring. I'm gonna place that one in the earring pile. Oh, I like this. Is this like a, maybe a horseshoe? I don't see any brand names on this, so I will do this one for $3. You're gonna find your best prices here on my YouTube channel. All right, and I'm gonna put that one in a lot. And also, if you're new to the channel and um, you aren't sure how to order for me, again, you will need to check the description. I do try to comment back on you guys' comments, and I so appreciate all of your guys' comments and the knowledge you share, but um, you will need to actually email me to contact me to be able to buy. Another earring. I like the decoration on that. I'm going to put that one in a lot. Chain, multi-chain link necklace there. All right, looks like maybe this had... Maybe like a music box or something in it. Looks like maybe some kids holding hands around the world. Used to see that a lot in the 90s growing up. Okay, AJS. And I get AJS pieces quite a bit. And that's a vintage brand. And they do sell pretty well. So I will put this to the side and see about pricing that one. Glitter costume bangle. I'll do that one for $2. I really like the beads on here. They're nice and heavy. They feel really good. Very shiny. I wonder if that's like quartz in there. Let's test it with the Presidium. These little clear stones. I'm not getting much of a reading. Maybe in the glass. Yeah, it's staying in glass. So I will do this one for $3. Next, we have a fun costume ring. Another one for my niece. They are very much into rings these days. So both of my nieces love jewelry and my kiddos love jewelry. Love hearing you guys talk about your kids as well. And we're having a lot of these little earrings today. This is kind of like a rose gold hoop with a clip on the back. 
another costume earring. Let's just take a look at this silver tone ring. I think it's a costume piece maybe came off from another one. Yep, it is magnetic. So we're going to add it over to our pile. Oh, this is really cute. It's a little dinosaur charm. If you know me, you know that my son loves dinosaurs. He wants to be a paleontologist when he grows up, and he's going to love that. I've had this face before, the little face earrings and necklaces. I'll do those for $3. Okay, metal earring. This looks pretty decent. It's got some of that gold coming off of it. Let's test those stones. I don't see any markings. Pretty nice stones, though. Shiny. All right, staying in that glass range. All right, here's that wood, colorful wood necklace we saw in the beginning. I'll do that for $2. Those are usually vintage pieces and they do sell. And sometimes I add them to my jewelry jars. I like to do that as well. And if you're getting these boxes and you're getting a lot of junk and you feel like you can't resell a lot of things, I definitely encourage you to sell your lot box and maybe make some jewelry jars. So cute, the girl with the pearl earring. Love that. We will put that in the earring pile and hope for a match. All right, we're going to get another pile going. Looks like we're going to have some really shiny pieces in here today. All right, kind of looks like plastic with the air bubble bangle. I love that style. Very funky and cool with the bubbles in it. Reminds me of amber when they get the bubbles in it. So I'll do that for $1. Oh, this looks like a nice statement necklace. Loving the daisies on it. All right, here we go. Wow, that is gorgeous. I love the shine on these crystals. I want to say they're plastic, but they are so shiny and pretty. Okay, it's moving up a little bit on that glass. All right, so it looks like this is going to be glass. Oh no, we're missing one little stone there, but I will definitely look down here at the bottom of the box and see if I can find it. Cause this is really pretty. I would hate to see this just going in a lot. Very nice. So if I find the piece for it, I will do it for $8. And if you wanna buy it without the piece and we don't find it, I'll do it for $1. I really try to reuse as much as possible, so finding those missing stones is so important. I always encourage you guys to reuse and recycle as well. I've got some costume earrings here. This one is so pretty with all of the beadwork. Beautiful. All right, this is going to go to a lot. Get a lot of these silver toned choker style necklaces. All right, love these necklaces for my son. He is definitely gonna be taking that one. All right, next we have some more tangles going on. Let's see if we can get these guys out. There we go. All right, it looks like it's gonna be a magnet and everything around it is magnetic. This is nice, another statement necklace costume. I'll do this one for $3. Really like the beadworks on there. Here's another costume necklace. I really like this kind of simple, minimalist look. So I'll do that one for $3. Whoa. Look at this pretty guy. Let's test those stones on there. I don't see any markings on it. All right, thinking that's some amethyst, and then we got some really shiny ones here. Let's test those. Okay, no. No reading on that one, but still a gorgeous earring. It's kind of hard to get a shot of it. So pretty, very shiny. And I love collecting single earrings. I have every intention to turn them into necklaces or maybe some art projects. And, you know, as, as is life with three kids, and... Um, I am very busy these days, so 
art projects will have to wait for a couple more years. I have two little ones at home still, so very busy household. Love the three leaf clover brooch. I'll do that one for $3. And I appreciate all your guys' patience always. And never worry if you receive an invoice um, and you don't pay it for a little while. I definitely will send a reminder and you guys take your time. I know everybody has a super busy life and kids. So don't you guys worry. I will definitely work with you. And if you don't hear from me, be sure to send me another email. Some of my emails have been going to junk lately. I try to really keep up and look at my junk folders, but I get a lot of junk. So it's hard to find your guys' emails sometimes within those. So if you don't hear from me within two days, within those 48 hours, I would definitely shoot me another email. Always appreciate your guys' patience. I love this cross necklace, kind of with this flat gold look. I'll do this one for $3. And a lot of these are great wearable pieces. Lots of costume, but great wearable pieces. I'll do this one for $1. I'm loving these giant beads going on. I'll do that one for $1. All right, I like this little ring going on. We've got another kind of flat gold or matte gold look. I'll do that one for $1. All right, very large oversized bangle going to a lot. I think those would be fun to like bedazzle. I think maybe when my daughter gets a little bit older, I'll have her do some of that because she's so creative and I love sparking her creativity as much as I can. All right, lots of little bits here. Another fun one for my little ones. So I'm gonna set that aside for them. And that's one good thing about these boxes. If I'm not getting a ton of pieces that I love, I know that my kids will love it. Another fun earring. All right, necklace, S necklace, and who are we working with here? Joni Wood. Another great resellable brand. I say this one probably goes for about $25 to $30. And I try to stick to around that, that dollar amount when I'm selling on my shops. It's a very nice earring. Let's look at this necklace really quickly. Premier Designs. I'll do that one for $1. Let's take a look at this earring. Don't think I see any marks on it. It's very shiny and well made though. Okay, we're staying in that glass range. This is so pretty though. Look how shiny. Probably some CZs, but the metalwork is really nice on there. Really clean looking, kind of the the Fords and the looking at all those diamonds on both sides. Really great costume piece, and I will definitely hope for the match for that one. Got another little ring, little moon ring. It's kind of giving me a silver look. Yeah, here we go. 925 and it's got like a CA mark, almost like a cursive mark on there. Bent up. I will have to straighten that out, but what a cute little silver moon ring. Adorable. I have a real problem with dainty little rings. Love to keep those dainty pieces. All right, there's a match to that rosy type of earring. I'll do that one for $2. Okay, let's get this big one. Put all this to the side. This big one with this leather flower on it. This one is going to go to a lot. But... Very nice piece, very large. It comes off fairly easy. It's got like a hair tie holding it together over here. Definitely needs some work done, but that'd be a fun little leather flower to maybe craft with. And it was heavy too, so that took a lot of my weight for my box. All right, I'll do those for $1 little star costume piece. Another costume bangle. It seems like it could spread out a little bit, stretch a little bit. I'll do that one for $1. Dan Dandy? 
I think that's what that is, dandy. Looks like metal on there. Another fun costume bracelet. No markings, definitely has a chrome color going on. Such a cute little leaf brooch. No markings on that one either. It is magnetic, so I'll do that one for $1. All right, looks like we're going to have the match to the dandy. Oh, it's actually a whole different earring, so I don't know if those are matches or not. I think they would be mismatched. All right, more earrings, costume pieces, it looks like. And I can usually tell just from, like, the backing of the metal on here. Usually they will pop out of those molds, the manufacturer's molds, and have those ridges and lines on the back. Fine jewelry should not have those molds going on. I'm going to put that in a lot. Lots of little earrings. And I do go back through these, so if you guys catch anything, please let me know in the comments. Always appreciate you guys keeping an eye out for me and sharing your information. I'll do this one for $1. All right, I love the chain link look on that, the chain mail. All right, looks like we did find the match to the dandy. It looks like it's made out of maybe clay. Uh, it's broken though. Another costume piece. Love the details on that earring. And this one has ridges as well. And it's going to be magnetic, so another costume piece. We did find the match to the girl with a pearl earring. Love that painting. And I'll do the set for $5. Drop dangle earring. All right, we just have a little bit left on here, so I'm just going to dump the rest of this out. We have lots of little bits. Right, so let's go ahead and dive in. First up is this beautiful bangle. I'm trying to see if there's any ridges or seams. It might be a vintage lucite. Yeah, that's really nice. And I really do not feel any seams on that. So I'll have to do some research. These can go for a pretty penny. I love the, the cream and that natural wood look. Some of my favorite looks. And I will definitely do some research on that one. All right, we found those costume earrings earlier. It looks like we have a B matching one to the other set. Kind of that flat gold look again. Lots of that going on today. This is a nice bangle. No markings on it. I'll do it for $2. All right, costume earring there. I really like the big moon on that one. Stretchy bracelet, I'll do that one for $1. That bright orange kind of coral look, I'll do that one for $2. I see lots of these. I think this is a horseshoe nail ring. Very cool. Definitely a costume piece, I'll do that one for $3. Okay, it says size 7. 14 karat gold electric plate. That's great, and that will be a wonderful ring for resell. Electra plate is still a good resellable piece. The rest of it is going to be costume, but look at that lovely stone on there. Beautiful. More earrings. I love this bubble ring. I'll probably give that one to my daughter. Those were so big when I was in school, so I love seeing her wear some of the pieces that I dreamed of having. Really cool Roman, looks like, ring. Roman coin on there, maybe. I like the plastic color on there, too. It looks like we had a ring. Solitary ring. Pearl. Heart earring. A vine ring. I'll do that one for $1. Now, this is too cute, and I really hope I find the match for my daughter. So adorable. And my son loves rubber duckies too, so it's going to be hard to keep that one from him. Broken costume necklace. Going to go to a lot. This one says Leah Sophia, and it's a pendant. So I will look to see if I have a necklace from Leah Sophia. 
I do try to keep those extra chains and I encourage you to do so as well if you're new to reselling. Another shield ring. This is an actual shield ring and I'll do that one for $1. It has some discoloration on there. Another lovely jeweled piece. The beadwork in this box has been amazing. No mark on that one. Look at this statement earring. Wow, how phenomenal. The color, I cannot even tell you how bright and sparkly that is. It would be so fun to make maybe into a pendant. It's so hard not to change all of these up. Look at that stunner. That is a ring for you. That's a statement right there. And I love me a statement ring, so that'll be hard not to keep. Very fun. I think maybe... And say it feels a little cold to the touch so it's kind of bringing it up on glass a little bit yeah so we're not looking at plastic very cool I'll do some research on that one all right more costume earrings very fun piece that we saw at the beginning of the video lots of costume bits today I don't think I see any marks on this one. Not magnetic. Holding a little pearl. Dolphin holding a pearl. I'll do that one for $3. Let's test that one with the magnet. Not magnetic. The discoloration on this portion, where it actually hooks through, through the ear, I've noticed that a lot of those that aren't 925 will be a different color. Then the silver tone, it's more of like a gray, gunmetal gray color. So I try to let you guys know some of the tricks that I use to identify jewelry. You guys have been super helpful over the last couple of years I've been doing this and have taught me so much as well. So if you have any information, always please leave a comment. Butterfly earrings I'll do for $2. Fun drop earring with some jewels going on. Some costume pieces. Looks like we have a piece that broke off maybe from the last necklace that we had. This looks nice, but again, kind of seeing those ridges and lines on there. Let's test it. And no real reading on that one, but beautiful stone in there. Adorable little plastic heart. Well, this is gorgeous. Look at those colors on here. How beautiful. Definitely thinking that's some really nice glass. Oh, we do have a marking on here. Let's see. All right, 925. And it's got like a little flower in there. You can see it. Let's test these. I'm thinking they're going to be maybe in the glass range. It's moving up on glass just a little bit here and there. This is pretty thin. I find that the thinner they are, the harder the reading is. Okay, got it moving up on glass a bit. So this is gorgeous. I would probably sell this necklace for maybe $40, $50 on my shops. This is a beautiful handcrafted necklace. And loving all the colors and the transparency through some of these beads as well. Really changes the colors up on there. Well, I do offer discounts as well for bundle deals. So don't miss out. Another fabulous ring. I don't see any markings on it. So maybe another electroplate piece reading up on glass. So yeah, this would be a nice costume. Okay, got a little reading there. I wonder if I'm just hitting metal though. Mm, it wants to move up. Very nice ring. Gorgeous. Beautiful ring for resale. It's going to be fairly small, maybe like a size six, five or six. Beautiful, beautiful ring. Let's keep digging on through. Looks like an angel. 
right, another costume earring. Oh, these feel really nice. Let's test these stones on here. All right, we'll untangle that in a minute. I want to see what these are. All right, it feels like it's reading up in the glass area. Maybe it's like milk glass. I wonder if this is a milk glass type of necklace. I'm not sure. I do have milk glass faces. I love milk glass, but I'm not sure if I've seen it in jewelry before. I don't see why they couldn't make it into jewelry, but very milky color going on, reading glass. And I don't see any other markings on here on the class or anything. So I'll do some research on this. You guys let me know what you think. All right, it says SP on this side and then 925 there. It's got the little V. Looks like maybe it's an anklet. A little small to be a bracelet. Another fun costume piece. Very large earring there. Another costume. All right, here we go. We've got some two different earrings going on. Balboa earring. Oh, here's another little charm. Yay, my son is going to be ecstatic. And that's what's fun about these boxes. Like I said, they are always an adventure. And I just try to encourage you guys to be creative when you're getting these boxes. Um, because you never know what you're going to get. They are a mystery box. And I want you guys to be able to make a profit. I don't think I see a mark on here. Let's test that though. Look how pretty that. Maybe what, ruby or gar, oh. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna be dealing with a ruby here, guys. That's amazing, and it's huge. We have a pink and a clear stone here at the top. Looks like that's staying pretty low in glass, and same with that one. We can put it down, get a better reading. Yeah, good glass piece. It's always better to lay your pieces down. I know I'm not a good influence when it comes to that, but. You should lay it down. We've got a solid ruby on there, and that is huge. So I love that. Great find. This would be a really cute one for maybe my daughter, the little sapphire heart. It's got a glass reading. I'd have to do some cleaning up on that, though, but she doesn't mind. She loves jewelry just like her mama. And I know you guys have been asking, a couple of you have been asking about maybe seeing Maggie's collection and how I organize it, especially with her being so young. And I would love to show you guys that. And you guys let me know if there's other things you might be interested in as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of reorganizing and thrifting for my home. So let me know if you're interested in seeing any of those projects that I do outside of jewelry. Another, I think, costume piece. Yes. Very large wood earring. I love pearls, so I'm always on the lookout for those real pearls. Okay, the little daisy flower it looks like. Looks like a sunflower burst there. I would think this is maybe 925. It looks 925 to me with the discoloration. But I don't see any markings. All right, not magnetic. So let's see if we find a match down here at the very bottom. And then you've got these little tiny, tiny earrings. Looks like maybe it's like a bluish green stone in there. Trying to just check for any markings on it. Give me an idea. All right, it is green, I can see it. And no reading on it. Okay, fun earring. More little bits down here at the bottom. Love this earring. And flowers were the themes today. We had a ton of flowers. All right, glass, another glass one. March is right around the corner. Does Goodwill know what they're doing? I think so. 
my chain link earring. Little S, lots of S's today. All right, you guys, so that is gonna do it for today. Last little earring. It's got an SH on it. So, all right, you guys, so we ended up with some incredible costume pieces. We also had some really cool ruby finds, which is incredible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to check the description to see how you can enter in into our giveaway for this month. As always, I look forward to live chatting with you guys and until next time.